purpose or it is uh, living related So let's, uh, what happens when you get an uh, epithelial defect where the limbus is involved? Sometimes the conjunctiva grows onto it and you get conjunctivalization and signs of stem cell deficiency, which we want to avoid. So if that conjunctiva is threatening to grow or has grown, you remove it. And because you have to remove it sequentially every day, every other day, it's called sequential sector conjunctival epithelectomy. On the topical anesthesia, as a slit lamp, you can use a crescent blade or a dry swab or anything that will help to remove the cells. So here's an example. You can see this epithelium is healing uh, from the limbus. It's coming in, but this conjunctiva is growing in here, and it actually grows on the top. So at this stage, one can brush it away, or even at this stage, one can brush it away. But if it grows on the top and you let it do that, then you get conjunctivalization of the, corneal epi the cornea and you get a problem. So that's called uh, sequential sector conjunctival epithelectomy. If the conjunctiva has already grown, and then you can see over here there's late staining, you can scrape it all off, allow it to re-heal from below. That is the new line of junction of the conjunctival and corneal epithelium. Pupil is intact, uh, pupil is covered with corneal, you get a good result here again. All that is covered with conjunctival epithelium. You scrape it all away, let this grow and allow, and you may have to keep scraping the conjunctiva till this grows across the visual axis, as you see here. Conjunctiva is coming in, and now you've got good cover here. But what happens in the situation where you have uh, a living-related or autologous limbal transplant? So here what you see is cement burn, peritomy 360 degrees, clear cornea underneath, two limbal explants, and then from the limbal explant, this is day one, nicely staining, this is the donor site. You can see that cells have started to grow from below and above. But this is the key point. As these cells are growing in, the conjunctiva is also growing in from both sides. And if the conjunctiva comes in, then you have a mixture and you'll have a problem. So what you have to do is this SSE, you have to, under topical anesthesia, keep scraping away these cells from here and here so that the corneal epithelium can move in a circumferential manner and repopulate the surface of the cornea. And you can see how once that is done, the conjunctiva cannot grow, it heals, and this becomes this, you get a very good outcome. But SSC has certain disadvantages. You have to keep the patient in, you have to watch the patient daily, put topical anesthesia daily, and there can be some discomfort or pain and sometimes bleeding. So like I said, we invented the technique ourselves. It was very popular and we found less improve on it. So this is what we do. We take, uh, if this is the affected eye, you take away all the fibrovascular panis and do peritomy. Then you take the donor uh, from the other side or from a living relative. There's three millimeter of conjunctiva you stitch or glue there and there. Now this much conjunctiva is open. This conjunctiva cannot grow, but this can grow on. If the bed is not nice, you can put a little amniotic membrane on the inside, which is irrelevant. But the main step is the next one where you take a large sheet of amniotic membrane and you put it underneath the conjunctival edge so that this conjunctiva is forced to grow on the membrane, not on the cornea surface. So it will no, it will has it has no chance to mix with the stem cells coming or the stem cell derived epithelium coming from the explants. So here's an example. You can see we've done that. There are the explants there and you can see over there the, the outer membrane. This is day one and you can see all the conjunctiva is now grown over here. So in two weeks or four weeks you can take out the outer membrane if it hasn't fallen off itself and you've got healing keeping the conjunctiva completely away because the outer membrane has redirected the conjunctival epithelium away from the corneal stroma. So you can see this is pre-operative, fluorescein stain, non-stain. This is after the ASA technique. We had a little uh, membrane inside and the large one outside. And then you can see the conjunctiva is growing on the outer membrane over here and here. It cannot go from above and below because there you stitched it to the conjunctiva. And on four weeks when the outer membrane starts to come off, as you can see here, you end up with a nice clean surface. Of course, there's stromal scarring here which will need another procedure, but the ocular surface is reconstituted. Here's a patient with a very severe extensive ocular surface papilloma. We treated with mitomycin, treated with interferon alpha, eventually ended up like this, 360 degree 
uh, stem cell deficiency, very irregular rough cornea. So we treated him with Acer. So those are the explants and the outer membrane was the dried membrane. You can see it's staining with fluorescein, uh, but you can see through it. And you can see the epithelial cells are growing from the explant, this sheet here and this sheet over here. So you can see right through this dried membrane. And when you take it off, see how nice and clean the cornea because the cornea is only covered by corneal epithelium. You can put this membrane, send the patient home, come back after one or two weeks and you'll find there's no chance of admixture of corneal and conjunctival epithelium. And this final case here, pre-op, lots of non-healing epithelial defect, chemical burn, that's the cornea pre-op. We did Acer. This is with the outer membrane, st outer membrane still on. When the outer membrane is taken off, you can see the patient's 6-9 vision in four weeks, and that's how this patient looks. So this technique uh, is very uh, s uh, sequential sector and conjunctival epithelectomy is a good technique, but if you're doing a limbal stem cell transplant, you have to do amnion-assisted conjunctival epithelial redirection. The principle is any epithelial cover for the cornea is better than no epithelium. So if the patient comes straight after a chemical burn, let the conjunctiva grow because otherwise the cornea will melt. And limbal corneal epithelium, of course, is better than conjunctival epithelium if you have that option. SSE can prevent or treat conjunctivalization, but the ACER is to prevent conjunctivalization associated with limbal stem cell grafts. Thank you very much. You, sir, it was a wonderful uh, presentation on this. Uh, so, any questions? Sir? Sorry. Uh, we have we have uh, uh, we haven't ad edited any video, but there are. It's it's uh, we can send you some. I think we'll have to send you by email. Yeah. Okay. So the next can.